Another important type of design, and it's a bit like a two-level design really, is something that's become called a randomised block design. So, I mean, you want to randomise everything, so the random part of the title is a bit irrelevant. And I think the block bit refers to the fact you're randomising over a nuisance effect. So the key thing is there's some factor that you're not interested in studying, but you want to try and kind of eliminate its effect from the study. So it might be that due to sort of practical restrictions, you're having to carry out the study at different time points on different days. So time might be a factor that you don't want to study, but uh, you'd like to sort of ensure that it doesn't affect the study results. Likewise, animals in cages, you might want to, you know, cage might have an effect, but you don't want it to influence your results. The, the weather, if you're studying animals on farms at different times of year, you know, litter is likely to be correlation, animals in the same litter. So these might be described as nuisance effects. You don't want to study them, but they can cause additional variation and biases in the data. So what we might call stratify across them using this randomised block design. So here we've got the um, experiment has to be carried out on different days and we have to split our animals over different days. So we might want to ensure if we're comparing say three genotypes here that there's an even number of animals on each day and make sure that within each of those days they're randomly allocated. So this is a, a simple example. We've got the experiment has to be carried out on different weeks. Um, probably the mouse isn't the best example, but um, for some reason you can only do two mice on during each week. So you would want to then ensure that you've got one mouse having the control treatment and one having the other treatment. So it would be no good if you had sort of two controls here, two well and there, and then the other treatment here and here, um, there might be more bias according to factors that may affect the different weeks. So we want to ensure one per week per treatment, randomly allocate to those. That can be done in, whereas before we just had a list of the different treatments and then applied the random number and sorted by that, but there's nothing to stop you listing the weeks that you want to study as well. Sort the rows by that random number and you'll come up with an order. Well, once this is once it's sorted, so we've got, it tells us what treatments and what week to use for each of the mice, or we could display it like this, so you've got a mouse number for each. We can see, you know, there's a different mouse randomly allocated to each week and each treatment. So it wouldn't really be a good idea to just sort of say one, two, three, four, five, mice on one and the next five on the other and there might be biases both across the weeks and the treatments. So that would then get called a randomised block design so it's a bit like the two level design except the um, second factor isn't of interest to us we just want to make sure it doesn't affect the results.